We we're April the 8th, uh, a week or so after the first video on the fruit trees. And I just want to show when I showed y'all this tree the first time, it was just starting to blossom out. But look now, we starting with little pears. So that's the importance of having some trees that bloom a little on the late side. We were lucky this year, we didn't get an Easter frost. We're very well known to have an Easter frost. The old people around here say always plant after Easter. And uh, this year looked like we might have a good crop. All righty, here we go again. These trees were just blooming out a couple of weeks ago and the bees have done their job and we're putting on little peaches now. This is the apple tree I showed y'all uh, in the first video. It's really out blooming now. And like I said earlier, we were uh, April the 8th, way after Easter, and it's just putting out. Um, once again, I've never had a lot of luck with apples in Louisiana. But like I said on the other video, this is one that was bred for Louisiana. We're going to try it out and see what happens. As you can see, the plum trees, they're also starting to put on plums. And, uh, you know, a tree is designed, it's going to throw off some fruit what it's not going to feed or take care of it will get rid of some but that's just nature as I always said produce more than what it actually needs that's just the rules of nature and survival uh, and trees do the same thing they'll produce a, a way way more than they really need or want and then they'll just throw off the rest this is a Louisiana fig tree it's not blooming yet uh, Anything native to Louisiana usually bloom, blooms a little late. Uh, this tree was developed for Louisiana, and the figs do can get ex extremely large. They are a good fig tree. These are Louisiana sassumas. Uh, they are a type of an orange, citrus, and they are just starting to bloom. And once again, it's native to Louisiana. They will uh, bloom late. I've these trees took a little licking this year because the weather got so cold. We kind of uh, far north. These trees are growing more towards the South Louisiana, the coastal areas, uh, where the temperatures are not as bad. Uh, we got down into 14 degree weather this year, and, and I'll show you one of my other trees. It took a pretty bad licking, but it's coming back. This is my other citrus tree. As you can see, the cold weather really put a hurt on it, but it's going to come back. The leaves are coming back. Uh, I'll probably harvest 100 pound of oranges on this thing uh, as soon as this past year. Uh, it was really producing. I'm hoping it, uh, it does pull back. Uh, like I say, these, these types of trees are not good for cold climates. This is our grape vines. As you can see, they're just starting to put on little grapes, <clears throat> clusters of grapes. And, uh, they do fairly well. They took the cold weather. I got to see, and they didn't uh, didn't hurt them. All right, this was one of my pear trees. That's an early bloomer. Uh, if you remember in the last video, I said I plant trees that bloom early and some that bloom late. For the years that we do have a late frost or an early frost, uh, you still have some that are coming into blossoms later, and you still have a chance of making some. These pears are bigger because they, they're, uh, they're an early blossom type tree. Now, if we would have had an Easter frost, like quite often we do, these pears, this tree wouldn't have made nothing. But on years like this, we'd be lucky. It looks like we're going to have a bump of crop. This is a Louisiana muscadine. These things here, uh, they grew wild in Louisiana, and they just been around forever, as far as I know. And they're good for making muscadine wine, muscadine jellies, and what have you. They're not even blossoming yet, so that shows you how when plants are native to Louisiana that they blossom late. It's just natural for them to blossom late because of cold weather. Uh, just to show you the progress of the Japanese plums, look how they've swollen since the last video, and how good they're looking. We are going to have fun eating these things. This is a peach tree. You can see it's loaded down. Uh, and the good Lord says the same and everything works out. 
We'll be having a lot of peaches this year to eat and to can and to preserve. I may even do some videos on that. That tree's loaded down. This is a Louisiana orange tree. Planted it uh, this year actually. And then that cold weather came and hit us. And as you can see, it damaged it. It probably killed it. Uh, I'm gonna let it go for a while and see what it does. I like to give it a chance, but it ain't looking good. Probably lost that orange tree. Orange tree citrus is this part of Louisiana, central Louisiana. You're taking a chance. Uh, we're 50, 50 miles south of Alexandra and about 60 miles north uh, west of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So you're taking a chance growing these citrus trees here. This is a Japanese persimmon. It hasn't even started uh, budding yet. Uh, persimmons grow kind of wild here. It used to grow wild anyway. And, uh, as it buds and in progress, we'll film it and we'll show it to y'all. Uh, this is a lemon tree. They grew in Louisiana. As you can see, it's just starting to bud. Uh, the cold weather didn't hurt it because it's next to a building here and it kind of protected me. I do have some lemon trees out in the orchard uh, that took a little beating. It looked like they're going to come back and make it. Uh, we enjoy lemons. We drank eating lemonade just about every day for the vitamin in it and the antioxidants and what have you. Uh, lemonade's good for you.